What's going on guys? Brink here from Off The Brink TV, bringing you a video. Um, this video is actually on how to install my user interface, OPUI 2.0, downloadable from WoW Interface. I'm going to try to do this without ranting, um, so <laughs> let's get right into it. Um, as you can see on the screen, it's just a generic warrior character. Just want to show you how I'm installing this UI from complete scratch. There's no pre-configured add-ons. This is a, a character I'm going to create right in front of you, and then go from uh, step one. Um, actually, I'm not going to show you how to install the folders. Um, you should know how to do that already. If you don't, um, I advise just, I mean, I put a brief description, um, a brief uh, instructions uh, in the description on WoW interface on how to install the folder. You should know how to do it already, like I said, though. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to click customize, just randomize the name. Let's get something funny. Natathaic, whatever that means. Okay, finish. So now we just have a newly created character. You can obviously do this on a character you already have set up um, or a new character. It doesn't matter. In the add-ons here, you're not going to see anything grayed out because the ones that are grayed out are the ones I have installed but are not enabled uh, or not for download in my interface. So everything that you see checked here is within the interface. Everything grayed out is just stuff I have installed but not on at the moment. Um, just want to make sure. I unchecked Kamiji because that's for a rogue, but okay. So we're just going to enter the world. Wait for the loading screen to finish, obviously, because you can't do anything while it's loading. By the return. Skip this stupid cinema. Okay, so <clears throat> too much RP RP. Okay, so you're going to see Hermes up here, config mode. Just click close because when you actually load the UI with Reflux, it'll configure all that for you. LVUI installation is going to pop up here. Just click skip process. It'll automatically reload the UI when, it, when you click skip process. Don't get alarmed. Um, hit close again. Hide the LVUI um, notification. So now, this screen looks a mess, obviously. This is not what the UI should look like. This is just with all the add-ons that are available activated and nothing set up or installed. So, what you want to do is, once you're at the screen, hit Enter to open up the um, chat edit, and you're going to type in a command slash reflux, like acid reflux. That's R-E-F-L-U-X space switch like a switch on or off, S-W-I-T-C-H, another space, all caps, O-P-U-I, space, 2.0. I'm just going to join this guild so they stop uh, sending me invites. I'm on a very busy realm, Kel'Thuzad for Alliance, it's ridiculous. So, um, Reflux Switch O-P-U-I 2.0, you see it down here, this is exactly what it should look like. You're going to hit enter, obviously. It's going to automatically reload the UI, and when you return... Voila. The UI should be um, completely configured like so. As you can see, I did this from scratch. I did nothing different. What you'll see new, though, as opposed to the old way, is I put the action bar set up like this for now. If you guys want to use Comergy or the combo bar add-on that I use, you're more than welcome to go into the add-ons and enable it and then drag it over to that position and hide that. Um, but I'm just going to keep it set up like this for now. Uh, I think it looks good like that. Uh, I use it like that for my warrior since there's nothing I really need to track besides rage and I do that right on the unit frame. Um, really easy to set up, guys. Uh, if you have different size screen, you might have to move things around a little bit. You might have to go into the menus of certain objects, uh, certain add-ons. Um, but generally speaking, it's real easy. But I'm not going to let you go yet. I'm going to show you how to fix this um, outline bug here. Just right-click the general tab that will automatically pop up when you mouse over. Go to font size and the font size that it already is, or change the font. Either way, it'll fix that. And you'll see the outline there. Scat is already all set up here. Um, that's basically it. If you want to bind the action bars, this is built off of, uh, off of LVUI. LVUI is a great interface, in my opinion. It's a total reskin of the Blizzard UI. That's how I built mine. Um, and it does a lot of things and gives you a lot of options that you can do on the fly without having to change Lua, um, Lua files. So you're going to click the C on the top right here and kind of like 
uh, bartender, you're just going to go to your action bars here, and you're going to click keybind mode, and you can actually go over any of the action bars and bind them. So, you're not going to click anything, you're just going to put your mouse over. I just cleared that bind by hitting escape, so it's going to clear all the binds that were set there, and you could set that to one... You could set it to shift one. You could set it to anything you want, just like any other um, action bar add-on, or just like the action, uh, the default action bars. You're gonna click save to save them. If you want to bind or put action uh, uh, or put abilities on the other bars, just mouse over down below these two lines here. This is one, and this is another. So you have. An action bar here, and an action bar here to put abilities and bind. These are the ones that are sent set to mouse over. So if you want to bind them there and put them there, make sure they're the abilities that can, you can afford being hidden. Um, like my Sinister Strike, Sprint, Rocket Boots, things like that I keep over here. Because I could just see them on my timeline bar and not really need to have them as um, frequently updating and in, in, in my faces. Um, adrenaline rush killing spree that I usually have over here and, uh, and stuff. But you could set it up any way you want. You can even go to the action bars and take the mouse over options off. Or on. Whatever you want to do. And you can put them there. Or you can change it to 12 buttons a row. And you can move them like that. You can place them on top of bar one. And you can have it like that. You can have any setup that you want. Um, this is for you to build on. You could send me pictures of your setup. I love that. A lot of people send me private messages with pictures of what they've done with my UI. It's great. Uh, I mean, if you're going to do that, though, just please don't upload it to WoW interface and then call it your own layout because I've seen two or three other people have already put their uh, rendition of my UI up and haven't even given me any credit. You can do it. Just hit me up and, like, put a link so people kind of know, like, you know, where you got the inspiration from. It just helps me get some more downloads and some exposure to my channels and stuff. Um, other than that, that pretty much describes how to install the UI. Like I said, if you need to move anything around, you know, do it at your leisure. It's pretty easy to figure out. If you have any other problems, questions, concerns, feedback, or even suggestions, just leave a comment in the video below or, you know, leave a comment on WoW Interface or hit me up privately. Either way that you feel more comfortable, um, you know, I'm down with it. This supports all classes, and there is going to be a new feature. It's not completely finished yet. There's going to be a healing profile. So if you ever want to, uh, when this is the new version is released, if you want to change to the healing profile, hit the C below the map, go to your profiles, and it'll say OPUI healing. As of right now, it's um, Alter Boy Heals. That's my healer. Um, what that does, actually, is it puts an action bar here. Um, if there's not one here already. And, let me show you, this is pretty cool. It puts the party frames right here. So, and it puts the debuffs nice and big. What I love about LVUI um, is the attention to detail. This is already kind of pre-configured for you. The roll icons will be there. The health will actually turn blue when it's dispellable. It, it knows that you're a healer class and healing spec, and it knows what you're doing. So, um, it's fully configured and aligned perfectly. Um, it actually does fill and drain vertically like this. If you want to change it to, I mean horizontally, if you want to change it to vertically, just go into the health of the private, um, party frame and change it to horizontal and it'll do that. Um, I also s took the liberty of setting up the RAID 25 frames, so it's going to look like that. Um, it'll actually look more like this because you'll have because when you go into healing mode It'll change your aura bars um, to icons. I did that to leave more room in the center So your power-ups instead of being bars like slice and dice or in a healers case like renew things of that nature Your buff will be here Bigger icon and your debuffs will be small because you'll be dispelling from up here and, and yourself That's listed in the party frame. So you don't really need to see your debuffs that much here You'll see them here or pop up over here when you when you have to um, perform an action on those abilities. Um, but it it looks nice and clean like that, and it won't fill up your screen with all kinds of bars and cooldowns because you know I kept everything neat. Um, this does exactly what Voodoo does. It has it, it will have heal prediction. It does have frequent updates on the heals, just like Voodoo. So you're getting live, real time on the health 
um, to make sure that you're not healing when they're full and not healing when they're drained or low on energy or health, whatever. Um, so, you know, everything will be completely set up. Uh, if you need to use Voodoo, if you feel comfortable with Voodoo, Voodoo's already been completely skinned. Um, so all you have to do is download Voodoo and then go to the profiles and select OPUI. There's already a saved variable included in this UI that will allow, for it, upon installation of Voodoo, to have all the necessary profiles that keep it skinned. I actually use the settings that are included in Affinity's UI. He's the he a priest healer from uh, Blood Legion. This way, you know, all the cooldowns and necessary things that need to pop up on Voodoo are that of a top world healer. So you'll have all that included in there. I didn't include it in the download because I don't use it. It's just as a bonus um, in case anybody wants to um, change things up a little bit for themselves. I, you know, I got them covered. But like I said, if you have any comments, and it, what I really am looking for now, though, is some requests. If you have any requests, uh, requests of what you'd like to see in the user interface, what do you think it'll make better, uh, what you think will make it better, anything like that, just give me a heads up, hit me up, make a comment, whatever. Other than that, it's Brink signing off, and see you later.